revitalization of the river or on one part to the, to the west part and to the east part is a kind of increasing the permeability of the surface of the canal. I think Adriana presented also the different uh, additional elements that will be added to this project. This is the permeability of the canal. So some additional elements to increase the connectivity between the different green areas but also to uh, upgrade the area with some bike lanes, pedestrian streets, that inhabitants can access uh, the green area and also connect uh, with the different uh, green parts uh, along the river. So the idea was, and I'm coming to the research question now, and, and, and the main objective of this research project is really to try to identify which are the benefits that this project will generate, and particularly focusing on the benefits that could be reflected in the increase of land value of the area. That's the first one. The second one is related also to uh, these additional benefits, additional to the risk reduction. So this project aims, on one hand, to reduce flood risk, and on the other hand, to generate additional benefits that will improve the quality of life. The next one is related, really, to see what will be the value that we expect to be increased by the project due to this generation of benefits. And then which instruments can be used to capture part of this value that will be generated by the project in order to be able to finance the project. So somehow to make visible the value that could be generated of the green infrastructure project, make visible this value, provide the instrument by a feasibility assessment of different land value instruments and propose which one could be used at the different parts of the, of the area in order to get this value and try to finance this project. So it's a kind of a smart way of raising funding for a 